everyone there is actually four very potent effective and evidence-based ways to combat not only COVID itself but actually virtually any infectious disease improving much improving our nationwide anti-epidemic safety and I want to talk about these things I haven't heard our people or doctors telling about it so I feel like I have to do it even though those things are absolutely obvious and uh, you're gonna see how easy they are in this video I'm gonna quickly go through uh, basics of how ventilation uh, can fight COVID, how we can do it with mobile apps, how we can do it by using UV light and uh, by improving our PPE. And then I'm going to make videos that you're going to see more in-depth explanation how and why each one of these things work. Because again, as I said, those things are obvious and they have been used for decades, some of them, but I haven't heard anybody talking about it. And I used to be a doctor in Ukraine and I have a good experience and training in these things so it was absolutely um, strange to me why people acted as those things don't exist and they still act but we actually have a lot to do and if we look at this uh, simple graph which I took from um, CDC website you can see that we cannot use elimination and substitution if we talk about general population in contrast to working environment so that leads engineering solution being the most potent way to fight um, actually any hazard exposure in environment so we have to focus on that and COVID itself is not only a problem a separate problem it is also a, a indicator of how poor our general safety is so this is one of the ways how you can do it with the laminar flow ventilation and this has been used like it's shown in a picture in um, many um, manufacturing facilities will require extreme precision as well as operation rooms so if you look at general um, uh, ventilation systems that you can find in hospitals nowadays and these are pictures from some of the better hospitals those are not bad you can see how filthy they are and that just shows that people never even bothered to clean them up so hold this question is absolutely neglected the problem with conventional ventilation systems that we already have in place in each um building each school supermarket anywhere you go is that and as well as standalone air purifiers that they have small returns that are usually located randomly and small uh single or just um few of them air supplies into each room which provide all this mixing air inside and that air as it travels it travels from one person to the other if the first person is sick or if even if the air inside is contaminated the whole airflow is going to get contaminated and it's going to spread and it be happens because of air entrainment which is used as a beneficial thing in so-called bladeless fans but uh, because it happens it helps to uh, keep particles suspended the air is being contaminated as it enters uh, the contaminated area and it also helps to spread the whole disease so what we can do about it we can provide laminar flow ventilation by adding a diffuser and just simply dropping an exhaust uh, hose closer to the bottom so the air is supported independently and it doesn't uh, cross between people and it, all the um, particles are being pushed down very effectively and forced into that um, outlet instead of just being uh, pretty much accidentally uh, entrapped there and this is how it looks in 3d and as I said these systems have been looked uh, worked for uh, used for many decades and this is uh, what we need for that as simple as it gets this is uh, the way to show how simple it gets we need a hose to drop and we need a second ceiling uh, which would might be a perforated plexiglass that's gonna uh, not allow uh, for that airflow to go through these tiny holes here and it's going to be diffused about the second ceiling which would also allow the light go to go in and uh, all the things like that so eventually what we do we turn the whole ceiling is turned to one big ventilation uh, grid that unleashes clean air to everybody independently and all the nasty stuff is being pushed down and uptaken by the floor 
And this is the other way we can use it. This is a standalone vertical semi-laminar flow air purifier, which we can use. We can also uh, use UV light to sanitize air instead of expensive HEPA filters. And then we will be good with just pushing um, regular dust filters not to get the lamp, UV lamp. Um, dusty. So sanitizing surfaces might be a big issue, especially if you try to use chemicals or if you try to use UV light, nobody can be in the room if that UV light is operating or if it's really something as silly as this thing here, which you can find in a hospital, it doesn't sanitize anything uh, that is about a feet away from it because it gets dissipated. As you can see here, if you have a single a light bulb, it just gets dissipated. It, doesn't reach the surface effectively. But if it's powerful enough, then we have two problems. First of, first of all, we have unnecessary exposure of biological um, matters such as people and animals and other things. And we have very little of um, UV light reaching that target area. But we, what we can do is just to put deflectors such as we would do in flashlight or car headlights to focus that light so all of it get lands on this area and keeps it sanitized 24 7 without any additional cost without needing somebody to stand there and sanitize and virtually it cannot be sanitized by any other means because so many people uh, every few seconds touch it but if you put the lamp it's gonna take just a few seconds to sanitize that area so we can keep it clean and absolutely disrupt the contact way of contamination. As well, we don't have any exposure of uh, biological individuals in the room. So this is very safe and effective. And before we jump into PPE solutions, I want to show you that there's app that helps, uh, helps us track, uh, anonymously track our uh, infectious contacts. So you can send alert, you can cancel alert. and. Uh, how it works, it doesn't take any of your information. As you can see here, it doesn't take any of this. Uh, it doesn't check your geolocation, it doesn't even take an hour. Uh, but you can work through uh, Bluetooth by just making a mark that on some day you saw some other person who had this app on her phone. It doesn't take her name, it doesn't take nothing, simply assigns a random anonymous number. And then if anybody gets uh, sick, so they, those people can send an anonymous and standardized message to inform people who they've seen in uh, past, let's say, seven days that they have been uh, diagnosed or have symptoms of some kind of infectious disease so the other people can quarantine and follow up with their doctor do testing that means you don't have to do the wide-scale massive lockdowns you can just quarantine people who are actually in any infectious contact uh, contact uh, contacts and uh, you can do targeted testing save money and when we jump into PPE solutions, so this is a prototype of the suit that you can use to protect yourself. And this is a very cheap solution that comes under $150 and it has all the features that are needed in case of wide scale epidemics as we have. And if you look on, on it, it has a huge HEPA filter that doesn't allow any particles to enter the suit. But more than that, as you can see, it's all blown up because it's inside ventilated. So there's two pumps where one of uh, those pumps blows the air inside, keeping the inside of the suit cool and comfortable. And the other pump uses extra two filters and it sends this um, air to the mask. Uh, so you feel comfortable at all times. It also doesn't muffle your voice as much and it's very nice to wear it on top and battery runs for more than 12 hours. Again, this is something we need because unlike other suits, this suit is comfortable to wear so people would want to do it appropriately. And it is also, as you might see, completely uh, airtight, watertight and made from thin but sturdy material that can be washed in just a second. So you can actually uh, decontaminate this suit in between patients as you're going from one room to another in just a few seconds uh, and you wouldn't be it gives you the highest level of protection and high le highest level of comfort at the same time and if you think if it's 150 dollars but uh, those 150 dollars would last you for a long long time 
uh, reducing your expenses on PPE that doesn't actually protect you as it should. And this is all. Please comment and follow up with other videos.